we are back again with another huge upgrade to vector shift where they have now enabled you to create custom forms with the ability to be a single page form and multi-page form this is huge as it enables you to build more sophisticated ai applications and create ai agents that can have the ability to perform more tasks and essentially in today's video i'm going to be showcasing how you can create ai applications with vector shift with a simple drag and drop builder plus showcasing how you can personally create AI tools that can assist you in various ways. The example of what I will be building is an AI tool that uses the forms feature to generate custom ad copies with ease. This is where you can simply provide a couple of inputs and it will automate the process of generating a really nice ad copy with a single click. So how are we going to accomplish this? Well, it's all thanks to a trustworthy application called VectorShift a no-code AI automation platform that we've seen countless of times on this channel, where I've automated data entry, created software, and so much more with this application. VectorShift is a no-code, low-code solution that harnesses the power to create AI search engines, voice assistants, chatbots, and automations. With its intuitive interface, you can build powerful AI-driven solutions without needing any sort of code with a simple drag-and-drop UI. And this is something that allows you to automate almost anything with ease. So let's get started. What I want you guys to do is head over to the VectorShift website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Once you are here, click on this get started button and sign up with a Google account or with a GitHub account or by simply signing up with your email address. Once you have signed up, you'll then be sent over to the main dashboard of VectorShift. This is the pipeline dashboard and this is where you can manage all your automations as well as your creations. If you head over to the marketplace, you can readily clone ready-made templates that have been already created by either the VectorShift team or by community members. And this way you can easily get started with something that has been already created rather than starting from scratch. You have a knowledge base in which you can upload various file types. You have your automations and chatbots that you can manage. You have a search base that you can also work with, such as your search engine. You have forums, voice bots, and so much more which is why this is an ideal platform. Portals as well as bulk jobs are two new features that have been added to VectorShift. I've actually made a video on portals, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. This is essentially where you can have all your models, your AI voice spots and automations all in one single area. Hence why it's called portals. Now, what we're gonna be doing now is going back to pipelines so that we can get started and create our AI application. Click on this create object button and click on create pipeline from scratch. Now you can simply click on this button, but look at all of these other templates that you can utilize to help you automate various other things like your Gmail flow, Google Drive, Slack, uh, in various categories, creating chat templates from chatbots, and so much more. In this case, we're going to start off by creating a pipeline from scratch as I'm going to be showcasing the drag and drop builder. So once you click on this button, it'll take you to this drag and drop builder. You can give this a name. So I'm going to give this a simple name where I'm going to name it an add copy AI app. And from here, we're going to place in an input node and an output node, which is quite foundational for any workflow to be operational. Now, since we're creating an application that is a form that collects data from RN to generate the ad, we're going to need to have various inputs such as demographics, age, as well as keywords to help us generate our AI ad. So in this case, I'm gonna place down four input nodes to collect the information such as keywords, demographics, and etc. So I have run along and I have provided a field name for each of these different input nodes so that it could retrieve the product description, demographic, keywords, as well as relevant documentation to help us create our ad copy. So now that we have placed these nodes down, I'm going to be placing down a knowledge base uh, semantic search node, which is where it's going to be processing the relevant documentation and creating a temporary vector database. This is to help us chunk out a better uh, input of our documentation. So we can increase this to probably around six and we can also enable a filter or re-rank the documentation. So. Now that we have this place, I'm also going to be placing down an open AI large language model node. The reason why is because I'm going to have NLP process these different inputs so that it could give me a better concise ad copy to be generated. 
I created the prompts to connect the input nodes. This is fairly easy to do so. When you hover over this chat tab, click on the insert variable. You can rename it to whatever you want to connect the input node to. So in this case, if I want to create a different variable to connect in product description, you can just simply name this product and you can see that it is adding a new connector to this node. But since we have already added the necessary inputs, we can leave it as it is. I named it product description to connect the product description, demographics, and etc. I also gave it a system prompt where I told it to write three different ad copy ideas for the about the product description. This is where I told it to bullet list them starting each with the hook that we can use for as a headline. Each advertisement should be no more than two paragraphs long and written to attract the demographics. So this is where you can instruct the LM to basically respond in a particular manner. And this is where your creativity comes to use. So since we're going to be providing a product description, I want it to be summarized. So what we're going to be doing is placing down a text note. And what we're going to be doing is sending in the summary or the product description, sorry, into this text node, which is going to then help us process another query to summarize it with our large language model node. So go ahead and connect this to there. And now you can simply start connecting all of these nodes together. The keywords will be linked to the large language model node and you can have the demographics also linked here. Now, in terms of the relevant documentation, you will have it connected to the semantic search and you can select the different embedding model of your choice. In this case, the OpenAI text embedding three large is best for this particular use case. Now the output from the OpenAI large language model node can be connected to this out output node and we're practically done our flow. So now what we can do is simply just click on deploy changes and now we can export this pipeline as a form. Now this is where you can give it a simple name. So let's just name it add copy and we can then click on create form. So now comes the great part where you're going to be able to customize this. So here comes the new feature where you have two different form variants where you have the multi-page form where you can have it so that all of these different inputs can be split in different pages. So if you go over to input pages, you can have it so that the first page is only going to be the product description. So you can get rid of these. Then you can add a new page for each of the separate, uh, I would say, uh, inputs. So in this case, you can have it so that this one is going to be for demographics. You can have it so that the next one is going to be for relevant docs. And the last one is going to be for keywords. So now that we have our different pages configured, what we can do now is basically style them so that it is going to be able to retrieve better information. So let's go over to the first page, which is product description. So we can click on show advanced options under inputs. And what we can do now is we can change the description of this. We can have it so that it's a long text. We can add a description. So in this case, the description of your product. And next, we can add a placeholder within this box. So we can say an example, like example, uh, we make uh, websites now this is just a simple little uh, way for you to style your pages and from here what we can do is we can configure each of the different pages so i'm going to go ahead and do this so that we save a bit of time so i went along and i've configured all the different input pages where i've basically provided a description for each of the pages and i've also provided styling as well as uploaded my own logo which i'll showcase in a bit but you can see that now we have our form ready, but we're going to also be providing an input onboarding page. This is where they'll get started with an onboarding page, which we'll configure in a bit. But if we go down a little bit and go over to general, this is where you can configure things such as the name, as well as giving it a description of what your form is about. So I told it that this is a description, which is to generate custom ad copies for your business. I uploaded my logo and now what you can do is you can configure and add a page for the onboarding so that this is something that is greeted uh, or something that greets the person who is going to be utilizing your tool and then it'll lead into the form so i'm going to go ahead and configure this so i've provided the title as well as the description of the onboarding page and now what you can do is click on deploy changes 
and now you can export this as a form which is just a simple link and this is where you can provide authentication or protect it with the password or you can now embed this into your website so let's go now and take a look at our onboarding flow that we've created for our ad assistant so now we have this onboarding flow that's going to greet us we can then click next and this is where we can now start to create a custom ad copy for my business so this is where i'm going to provide a description now so let's just make an ad copy for our channel this is where i give it a description of the youtube channel let's give it a couple of keywords or demographics uh students software developers and who else watches our stuff 40 year old and <laughs> now let's go to the next uh which is the ad target keywords so let's give it a couple of keywords ai software devs developers and let's click on the next one where we're going to be providing relevant documentation and look at that this is the ad copy that i was capable of generating for my channel where i have three different ad copies you have the first one where it gives me the title and we can see that it generates this nice little copy for this channel and that's practically how you can create these different types of AI applications with Vectorshift. I definitely recommend that you try this out because this is a great way for you to basically build almost anything and automate almost anything. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon so that you can access our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.